Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about how to conduct the chi-squared test of independence, as well as Fisher's exact test using R. The chi-squared test of independence is appropriate for testing independence between two categorical variables. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already imported the data into R and attached it. We will explore the relationship between gender and smoking. We can use the chisq.test command to do the chi-squared test in R. To access the help menu, type help and in brackets the name of the command you would like help for, or place a question mark in front of the name. The first thing we will need to do is produce a contingency table. This can be done using the table command. Now let's go ahead and save this table in an object called TAB for use later. The next thing we can do is produce a bar plot to examine the relationship visually. This can be done using the bar plot command. Here I will set the beside argument equal to true to produce clustered bar charts and I will also set the legend argument equal to true to have a default legend produced. See my earlier videos on producing bar plots to learn more about how to produce these. Next, we can produce the chi-square test using the chisq.test command. Here we'd like a chi-square test for the contingency table. We can set the correct argument equal to true to have R do the Yates continuity correction for the chi-square test. We can see the test statistic of 1.744 and the corresponding p-value of 0 0.1866. Recall earlier that we saw we can store the results of a test in an object. I'm going to store the results of this test in an object CHI. Earlier in this series of videos, we also learned about the attributes command. We can ask what attributes are stored in this object CHI. If we would like to extract certain attributes from this object, we can do so using the dollar sign. Here, let's take out the expected table. If the assumptions of the chi-squared test are not met, we may consider using Fisher's exact test. Fisher's exact test is a non-parametric equivalent to the chi-squared test. This test may be completed using the fisher.test command. Again, here we would like to do the test on our contingency table. We can set the conf.int argument equal to true if we would like to have a confidence interval for the odds ratio returned. And we can use the conf.level argument to set the desired level of confidence. In the next video in this series, we will discuss a package we can use to calculate relative risks, odds ratios, and so on. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.